I do think you are going. Where did you come from? I'm giving you back your apartment. You want to hurt me? Don't you know I am nothing without you? Juicy hot dog with mustard and relish sure would go down good right now. If you would like me to stop so you can get a hot dog, just say so. Don't know how long you're going to be able to keep it down, though, once you see that woman splattered all over the sidewalk. That's okay. That stuff only works for natural manipulators, Frank. That's not you. You're too... What's the word? Empathic. Gullible. Yeah, that's the word. Hey. Found a suicide note up on her dresser, but they also found this on her person. Well, what do you know? Dr. Clithammer's new book. I didn't know it was out yet. To Vanessa, always yours, always mine. Kneel and feel my power. Love, Bridget. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Autograph. Come in, please. Mr. and Mrs. Colombo? Yeah, my, uh, my friends, they call me, they call me Frank. Why is that name so familiar? Oh, I'll give you a hint. Diary. Attica. I was referring to your last name, Mr. Colombo. Please, please, call me, call me Lieutenant. Just call me Mrs. Colombo. See, Doc, we heard that uh, you can help people with certain marital difficulties, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. My <laughs> shucks. Why try to hide it? I knew I couldn't fool you. Can, can, can I be honest? I am probably one of your biggest fans. You are? Oh, yeah. I've read every one of your books, including the latest one. If you tell me I can't, I will kill you. Is not available to the public yet. That is a working title. Yeah, well, I guess you could say an advanced copy just sort of dropped into my lap. A friend, a, a good friend, uh, Vanessa Carla, gave it to me. To Frank, 
Five minutes was all it took to convince me I'm on the wrong team. She's a good friend. Hmm. We have very little time. How may I help you people? Well, Doc, I'm, uh, see, I, I'm, uh, I'm the jealous type. If Mrs. Colombo were, were, were to look at another man, or, or uh, even another woman, I, uh, well, I would, I would just about go ballistic. Is that true, Mrs. Colombo? It's like being in the Mafia. Has he ever been violent? No. He knows what had happened to him if he ever laid a finger on me. You can take care of yourself with the fighting? Fists, guns, knives. Yeah, I'm board certified. You ever seen Cagney and Lacey? I love that program. Sounds to me like you have nothing to worry about. Detective Frank. I read the papers too, you know. Why are you really here? I guess to get some advice. Not about your marriage. What would you do if you found out the woman you loved was going to walk out on you just like that? Well, I suppose I would try to convince her that I cared for her deeply. And if that didn't work? I would simply have to say goodbye. I'll feed us in. Exactly. I'd say on page 42 that the best method to get things to go your way is to act as if you have complete control. But even someone as successful and intelligent and as attractive as yourself must lose control sometimes. It took many years of discipline and willpower to reach the state of total self-control which I enjoy today. But you can't keep them happy in the bedroom, is that it? A little too much control, maybe? That is a cruel lie! You are clearly trying to goad me into some sort of enragement. I have evidence here that I'm pretty sure will prove that that suicide note your partner, Miss Carlisle, left was a forgery. The only forgery here, I think, is you. tip of the iceberg. I think when your followers find out just how unhappy your partner was with you, they're going to look at you in a very different light. You cannot fool me, detective. I can see the lie in your eyes. Suit yourself. Guess we'll just come back later with a subpoena. You are known for feeling the thoughts of others. Are you not, Detective Frank? And you pride yourself on the precise timing of the solution of your cases. Imagine the ticking of the stopwatch. The watch ticks quietly. Endlessly. Beating inside your mind. You hear only the stopwatch. Frank? I cannot hear you. Repeat after me. I hear only Dr. Clithammer. I hear only Dr. Clithammer. You don't have to use the accent. You don't have to use the accent. No accent. No accent. All right, Doctor. Take him out of it. You've proven that you can manipulate people really well. But Detective Craig, imagine your partner totally within your power. Mine? At my command, he will do anything you bid him do. No more will you be simply the female partner of the great Detective Frank Frank. No more will you receive less uh, billing than him in the media. 
No more will you suffer his antediluvian taunts and chauvinistic barbarities. You could rule him! I'm all for equal pay when you get the same respect I do. You were raised on an army base, right? I'd love to get the woman's point of view, but I only have five minutes. How long does a period last, anyway? Up and down, and up and down. I'm just asking. I'm gonna kill you to wear a pastel once in a while? Above everything else, you are a woman. Be true to yourself, be true to all women. I could easily have him hand over the evidence to me, but I give him over to you. Detective Craig now has complete control of your every movement. You have some crumbs on your jacket. All right, you got them. You keep flirting with the doctor, and I'm jealous. You see the power you have over the brain of their human mensch? Imagine how far you could climb with such a tool at your disposal. That was me at your side. First, how do I know I won't end up like Vanessa? Did you push her? Or did you use the mind melt? A push is a push, no. But you, my Liebchen, I know would be much too powerful for such brutal tactics. Give her the note, Frank. Available now from Sing Sing Press.